Okay, 1986 Bronco XLT. It's got the 351 in it. Runs perfect. I had to replace the starter solenoid. And I had to replace the back window motor. It was weak. Um, that's all I've done to this thing so far. So it is rotted out back here. They, the guy put a piece of stainless on there at the bottom. Take that shit off. It's got a couple little dense stings down the side of it, but overall this Bronco's in really good shape. This is a one owner Bronco too. I, I am the second owner. We bought it a couple weeks ago. Planning on doing some things to it. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on it. Um, but I want it to you know, look really cool. And I'd like to give it a... I think I'm going to start out with a body lift. 3 inch body lift. And put some bigger tires on it. Change the wheels. And uh, I'm actually thinking about... Uh, using a bed liner for the paint. I know a lot of people would be like, why? Why would you do that? The body's in such great shape. There's not much work there. And that's true, but I'm, I, I think I might do like a trail ride with this thing. And then on top of that, the bed liner looks cool. It's kind of a new thing. Um, and it's easy to clean. You don't have to worry about scratches. And this is something that I want to daily. So I don't have to drive my newer truck as much keep the miles off of it so I can resell it for a great price that's the plan I took the aluminum uh, or whatever you call that I think it's aluminum I took that off Ooh, the body's in pretty good shape man it's real faded up front from the sun beaten down mostly everything on this thing is all original uh, especially the interior, which I plan to totally redo. So, it's got the roll-up windows, thank God. I really don't like the uh, electronic, just because they fail. Sure. Dash is pretty good, except for right there, so... Put a new dash cap on it. It's a custom headliner that I'm going to take out. And there's the original back seat. Pretty good shape. I don't think the top's ever been taken off. This seat's in pretty good shape. So right there where you get in with your fat ass. Center console. I'm supposed to take it and get it converted to a... R12, or it's got R12 now, but I want to put a, I guess convert it to the 134A, I think that's what it is, I'm not really sure, but uh, this is the first video I'm going to put on YouTube, um, and then slowly post some more videos of the transformation, and part of me just wants to keep buying Broncos and, and redoing them, because they're really cool trucks. I like them. I like how they're kind of like a multi-purpose vehicle. It's kind of a truck, but it's kind of an SUV. It's an off-road vehicle, but you can tow a small, you know, decent-sized trailer. Um, it's capable of getting from point A to point B, and then some. And uh, the top comes off, which is really cool. Uh, it's kind of like a Jeep Wrangler in a way, in a sense. But it handles a lot better than a Jeep Wrangler. Um, on the interstate and its off-road capabilities are pretty awesome so uh, first video 1986 so you will see some more videos to come subscribe to my channel never thought I'd say that but subscribe and you will see a Bronco build pretty cool build so three inch body left to start with bigger tires 
Rhino line the exterior, completely redo the interior, and I don't really know where I'm going from there, but basically just make it a good daily driver. You know, nothing extreme, nothing crazy. I may do some crazy shit down the road, but for now, I just wanted to look pretty decent and um, to my standards, I guess. That's it. This thing is not rusted out. It is in great shape. It's a southern truck. That's right. I love these things. And I really like this body style too. The bull nose front end. Um, it's so different. You always see the 90 models or the late 80s. You don't really see these running around too much. And I like that. I like the, the front end. It's cool. Well, first video, subscribe and see some Bronco building.